Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided I wanted to change up our bathroom a little bit using everything that I already had at home, except for one thing. First, I started off the day with some breakfast. I decided to make this recipe that I had seen on TikTok a lot for this custard toast with fruit. It was pretty good. I jumped right in with moving things around the bathroom. I was going to paint that wall in the back so I had to move everything off the wall. And I wanted to move this big bamboo rack as well so I didn't get paint on anything. The first thing I needed to do was to take out all the hardware pieces and sand and then fill those areas to get a smooth surface. I definitely should have used a drill for this. Don't know why I didn't. But my life is essentially just a series of inexplicable decisions anyway. I couldn't figure out why this bracket wouldn't come off the wall after I took the screws off. And it was just kind of stuck to the paint, so I pulled it off. Next, I got to work with this spackle in a tube called erase a hole which is just a great name for spackle in a tube, but I filled in all the little nicks on the wall that needed the spackle, and then I took a spatula and scraped off the excess until all the holes were filled in and flush with the rest of the wall surface. I had Yao move out the over-the-toilet bamboo caddy so that I could access this back part of the wall that I wanted to paint next. I started lining the wall that I was going to paint with painter's tape so that the paint would bleed onto the other walls or the ceiling before quickly realizing that I was not tall enough to complete this task. I realized I would have to leave this roll of tape suspended in midair and potentially undoing seconds of hard work, hence the sudden look of anxiety and confusion. Here's a tip. When you're putting down painter's tape, make sure that it is really stuck on the wall or whatever surface you're applying it to. Um, if it's not, your paint will bleed. And this is not gonna be something fun to fix. What's worse, if you are a lazy person, then it's something that you will not fix. And then you'll just be wishing that you never left your couch in the first place. So I wanted to kind of use what I had at home as much as possible. We had this shade of green on our living room wall, which has been really popular for a few years. I really like the color, but I do feel like it's been done so many times as an accent color. I decided to use that, that green color to color a white base and get sort of like a sagey sea foam color for this wall. I just had to use a lot more than I anticipated to get that color. The white was really strong. So this is the color that we actually ended up getting. And we're pretty pleased with it at this point, so decided to go ahead and paint the wall. Yao was looking for this royalty-free song about soup that we'd both heard and really liked, but we couldn't find it. The artist's name is Bobby Cole. The song we're looking for is about food, and he's naming all the things that he wants and he's really explicit that soup just will not do. I think he also calls out mayonnaise. 
as another type of food that won't do. We still haven't found it, which is, you know, a tragedy, but we did find all of these other amazing songs. This is singing. It's the guy that made funk uptown. Euro clock. Let me put some respect on Bobby Cole's name. He has made so many songs that are free for creators to use, and you've probably heard some of his songs before. It's a song. It's a different song. If you had the table space, you could stop the I'm sorry for passing judgment, but 38 songs about soup? Isn't it enough? One has to wonder if, after all this time, he's still hungry for more songs about soup. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Book tour coming in 2023. I just know that he's picturing that Campbell's chicken soup commercial where the, like the snowman melts and there's a kid inside. You can see that much. That's okay. You have, to, you have to tape it to get it. Trust me, it will look terrible if you do it without tape. I'm just gonna like diddle diddle. Just trust me. You can try try it on a little bit and then, and then climb down to see what it looks like. At this point, I had realized that this was not a good idea, but it was too late. I didn't put the painter's tape down flush with the edge of the wall, so it ended up being kind of a wavy line. It was driving me crazy. So I took a little paintbrush and decided to go in and try to make it better. It actually made it worse, but you can't tell from the video. But you're about to witness my realization of that. Tape it again. Or just once everything is busy, your eyes not gonna be not gonna be drawn over there. This is gonna sound like a reach, but stay with me. While I'm vacuuming up all these little crunchy bits on the floor, it does remind me that I was recently watching this reality series that trails different fast food location workers in the UK. And one of the locations that they filmed at was this KFC. Something that really surprised me was that as the used grease is drained into a waste receptacle below the fryer, there's this mesh basket that catches these fried bits of chicken breading, and the restaurant uses those bits to make gravy. And that's how I learned how KFC makes its gravy. At this point, I felt like the wall needed something in the upper left-hand corner. This is one of my favorite ever pieces of art that we have in our house. My mom made this for me. This is my dog, Baka, who now lives at my parents' place uh, with their other dog. But I miss him incredibly. And look at, I just, this is needle punch. Look at my mom's handiwork. It's incredible. My mom is so creative and talented. So the only thing that we actually bought for this wall that we didn't already own was the coat hanger piece that's right above the mirror. For these other two paintings, one is 
a map of ancient Beijing that we got in Beijing, and the other is the Great Wave of Kanagawa that we got in a print shop in Tokyo. This mirror is from Ikea, and we got the toilet paper from Safeway. So that's it guys, we'll call it like a $30 renovation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and we'll see you next time.